now available in paperback and Kindle Unlimited, The Man Crisis. Learn why so many men are struggling to find their way in an increasingly gynocentric world in The Man Crisis. Get your copy of The Man Crisis in paperback and Kindle Unlimited today. Are you a God-centered man or are you a gynocentric man? This is a critical question anyone who follows the living God has to ask himself as he assesses his own faith. Because many men who are following the living God believe that they are following the living God, when in actuality they are following the principles of gynocentrism. Now, gynocentrism is the idea that everything men do has to revolve around women and revolving around elevating women to a higher position above men and making sure that women's needs are met above men's needs. Whereas a God-centered man, his beliefs are that he is put on the earth to do the work of the living God and as the steward of the living God, he is responsible for making sure that the world works to the standard of the living God and doing his work to please the living God. And that's the critical difference between a gynocentric man and a God-centered man. Because the gynocentric man is one that lives to elevate women and he lives to please and appease women. And when he does this, what he does not know he is doing is he is violating the first commandment that God made in the Old Testament with the Ten Commandments, where God said, Thou shalt have no other gods before me, and the commandment that Jesus gave in the New Testament, where he said, To love the Lord with all thy heart, all thy soul, and all thy spirit. Now, the reason why that gynocentric man is violating both of those commandments, one that was a creation of the law, and the second one, which was the fulfillment of the law, is he is putting this woman in a position where she is a god above him, and he is worshipping her. And that's why the gynocentric man is living in sin, and that's why the gynocentric man, in most cases, is a spiritually lost man. Because when a man is putting a woman above himself, what he is doing is saying that this woman, a creation of God, is higher than the living God, the Most High, and that him living to please and appease her is more important than doing the work that God had ordained him to do on earth at, during his time here. He is making the woman a priority above the Most High Living God and making the woman more important than the Living God. Again, a violation of not only the first commandment of the Old Testament, but a violation of the commandment that Jesus gave in the New Testament. So, this gynocentric man is a very spiritually lost man, and he's a man who, while he believes the idea that he is following God, he is so far away from God because he is not connected spiritually to the living God, because he has put the woman above himself, and instead of him being connected to God, he has this woman in the way, and this woman is preventing him from having a direct connection to the living God. Now, the God-centered man, in contrast, this is a man who understands God's natural order, and he understands the importance of his connection to the Most High. And as someone who understands the direct connection to the Most High, he understands that in God's natural order, it works like this. It is God, the creator of the universe, Jesus, the Son of God, and the ruler of the earth, that man, God's steward over the earth, and woman, the helpmeet 
and support who helps man do his work on the earth, followed by the children. And in that order, everyone is following the living God and following the lead of the living God. But in the gynocentric man's world, what happens is he severs his own connection to the living God because he's got this woman elevated above the living God. And when the order is out of order, what happens is we have chaos because the only way you can have order is if all of the beings are following God's natural order. And you don't get order when you have the man putting the woman above him, above the Jesus and above the living God. That way, the connection is severed. You cannot have the connection if the man is putting the woman on a pedestal and worshiping the woman. And that's what the gynocentric man does every day is he worships the woman and he primarily worships the woman out of fear. Now, the gynocentric man's whole being is living in fear and the reason why he lives in fear is because he believes that he will not get his needs met by women unless he makes an effort to please and appease those women. So your gynocentric man believes he will not be able to get opportunities at relationships with women or sexual relationships with women unless he makes efforts to please and appease them. And that is one of the things that keeps him from getting closer to the living God because the God-centered man understands that because he trusts in the Most High and he has faith in the Most High, what he's going to do is understand that God will provide for him and if he wants him to have a relationship with a woman, he will provide him with a woman. But his primary focus is not pleasing and appeasing the woman. It is doing the work of the living God here on the earth. Because as he does the work of God on this earth, he is pleasing the Most High, and he is making the Most High happy. And this is the most important thing that a man has to understand, that we are placed on this earth to do God's work on this earth, and we our main mission on this earth is to do God's work on this earth. And as we are on this earth, that is our job, and if we follow to do God's work, he will provide us with the resources that we need to do his work on this earth, and he will also provide us with the help, meet, and support to continue being able to do his work. So the woman will be provided to the man by the living God in efforts to help him do his work. So he does, if he has faith, he will get the woman that is right for him, and that woman will be the one who will help him do his work on this earth. But the gynocentric man, because he is carnal, he does not understand this. Because he is so caught up in Madison Avenue and Hollywood and trying to find ways to please and appease women, this, again, is why your gynocentric man is a spiritually lost man, because he is so far away from God that he cannot have a relationship with God because he's so busy trying to have a relationship with the woman who he has made into a God that he cannot become closer to Christ and become closer to the living God because Jesus is the Son of God. He is God in the flesh, and he died to uh, pay for all the sin debts of all men. But the whole thing is, is that this gynocentric man does not want to acknowledge God's power, God's authority, and he does not want to acknowledge God as his Savior, nor does he want to acknowledge God as his Lord. What he wants to do is place this woman in a position 
above God, make her his savior, and make her his Lord. And this is a very unnatural order. And again, the natural nature of women who are God-centered, they're going to reject this because they look at this man who is out here, and he's sitting there putting her on this pedestal, which she knows that she does not deserve. And she is uncomfortable with being this man's center, being this man's savior, and being this man's Lord, because she knows she's out of her natural position, which is supposed to be helping and supporting this man. And this is why women become frustrated with gynocentric men, such as beta males, simps, manginas, and cap and savums, because these men are completely disrupting the natural order of the living God. And because these men disrupt the natural order of the living God, this is why they have a hard time finding the blessings of the living God. Because the only way you can get or start walking towards the blessings of the living God is to start walking with Christ. And as you walk with Christ, he will provide you with everything that you need on this earth to be a steward in him and help and do his work on this earth. And this is the big problem with the gynocentric man is that he's looking to do the work of women and he's looking to be carnal instead of trying to become far more spiritual and building that relationship with the living God through Jesus Christ. He doesn't want to build that relationship because he wants to have this relationship with the woman. But if he had the God-centered foundation, then he would be able to find the relationship with the woman that is right for him. And that's what usually happens to the gynocentric man. But the God-centered man, he will find all the things that he needs because God will provide for his needs at the right time and the right place. And the road to becoming a God-centered man is the road that men need to start taking because it's the road to the God-centered man that is going to lead to a man becoming spiritually fulfilled, spiritually satisfied, and eventually start growing and becoming a more prosperous man because the ultimate success of a man on God's earth is to form that relationship through Jesus with God and start walking with God because once a man starts walking with the living God then he can start build developing fruits of the spirit and as he develops those fruits of the spirit that's where he can start finding full, a fully more satisfying life, a more abundant life, and he can start really prospering. He cannot prosper in a gynocentric perspective and a gynocentric life because that's a life that is going to keep him away from the living God. It's going to keep him disconnected, and it's going to lead to him becoming spiritually unsatisfied. It's only when that man forms a relationship with God, that he starts to become far more spiritually satisfied and more at peace with himself because as he becomes spiritually content, then everything in his life starts to fall into place because he's following the living God, he's following the direction of the living God, and as he's following the direction of the living God, the living God is providing for his every need, not his every want. And that's another thing related to the gynocentric man, is that he is controlled by his wants, his lusts, and his desires. Whereas the God-centered man is focused on doing the work of God, pleasing God, and he, he's getting what he needs. And because he's getting what he needs, he is spiritually content with what he has, and he's not coveting what others have. The gynocentric man in perspective, he is coveting what others have and he's working towards things like social currency and not spiritual wealth. Now, social currency is something that only has value with other men, 
But spiritual wealth is something that has value to the living God. The spiritual wealth, again, are these fruits of the Spirit. And these fruits of the Spirit are the things that have the greatest value because this is God providing for you and God giving you what he wants you to have and allowing you to grow in a spiritual relationship with him. That is what the God-centered man is focused on. And again, the God-centered man is focused on pleasing the living God, doing the work of the living God, and forming a greater relationship with the living God. That is what the God-centered man wants. And the God-centered man, again, is what every man should do. Be focused on becoming because that is what a healthy man is supposed to be focused on doing God's work on earth and making efforts to please the living God by doing the best work possible because when you do the best work possible you are going to bear the fruits of the Spirit and as you bear those fruits of the Spirit others are going to become inspired by you and they're going to want to follow you down the road with Christ, that narrow road. Even though there are obstacles and challenges, they're going to want to follow because they see those spiritual fruits. And they're going to want to please the living God because they want to form that great relationship with him. And they're going to want to form that spiritual connection as well so that they can also start bearing those spiritual fruits and having that spiritual wealth because that's what's going to lead to them becoming spiritually content. The God-centered man is one who is satisfied with doing the work of God, and they are satisfied because they are pleasing their Creator, and they are satisfied because that's what they want to do, because they understand that man's greatest work on earth is to serve the living God, and do his work on earth, and serve him because that's what their that's what their purpose is for that's what the god-centered man wants to do and that's what every man again should excuse me aspire to be because a god-centered man is a man who is at peace with himself and he's at peace with himself because he has gotten the peace of god one of the greatest fruits of the spirit and one of the greatest fruits a man can share with others most men out here, they don't understand the difference between a gynocentric man and a God-centered man. But I wanted to teach that lesson because too many men out here are lost in the wilderness of gynocentrism. And they don't understand that there is a greater and more abundant life with the living God. If you'd like to see me make more videos like this, you can donate to my Patreon by clicking the link in the description box. And if you want to try some of my SJS Direct Men's Issues books like the Simp series or the Man Crisis, you may do so by clicking the link to Amazon.com. That's all I have to say for this video. You can comment, rate, and subscribe.